Why aren't more girls getting into code? The answer is a bummer. When Robin Hauser Reynolds' daughter nearly dropped out of her computer coding class at Cornell, saying she felt intimidated by the men in her class, a light bulb went on. Code, debugging the gender gap, Reynolds' upcoming documentary, investigates why girls don't go into computer science and why women are so underrepresented in the field. So why are so few women going into coding? One reason is the lack of female role models in the industry. When she asked middle school girls to describe a computer programmer, they came up with words like glasses, nerdy, a man, Reynolds said. Then finally one girl said, well, I guess it could also be a woman. Reynolds explained that if girls don't have female coders to look up to, it's hard for them to visualize their futures. Since you cannot be what you cannot see, you often give up, she said. Women make up a mere 28% of science and engineering professionals, according to the National Science Foundation. For example, Google's 2014 employment data showed 70% of its employees and 79% of its leadership were men. By the year 2020, it's projected to have 1.4 million computer science jobs available in the U.S. and only 400,000 computer scientists. So that's one million unfilled jobs. Reshma Saujani founded Girls Who Code, a nonprofit dedicated to closing the gender gap in tech. And she gave a TED Talk in which she explained the consequences of women being absent from the field. We have to socialize our girls to be comfortable with imperfection and we gotta do it now. Luckily, organizations like Girls Who Code, Black Girls Code, and Code 2040 are giving girls the skills and the confidence they need to get ahead in computer science. Saujani said that young girls are taught to be perfect, while boys are taught to be brave. She's found that girls are afraid to take chances and fail, which is what coding is all about, trial and error. Still, she knows the reality is that those girls who do make careers out of computer science are likely to contend with the tech world's deeply ingrained sexism. At many of these startups, sexism is often rampant, Reynolds said, and if it's not that, then it's unconscious bias. Reynolds hopes companies will realize that including women can only help them. A few years ago, Harvard Business Review published a report about a study that showed that when women were added to a room, the collective IQ of that room increases, Reynolds told USA Today. It's hard to argue with that. Share if you know a girl who codes.